when you hear these kind of statements, again, they're saying the quiet part out loud, which is no longer is enemy number one, just this sort of, yes, we disagree with the policies of Israel, the government of Israel. Again, we've said you can criticize the government. You can criticize a political leadership. Not only do we have a, not a problem with it, we encourage that kind of discussion and debate. But when you start saying this is when, again, the truth becomes a bit clear. We've been saying it for weeks, but now it's coming from real, legitimate 501c3 nonprofit American organizations. Anybody who has any relationship or any support or any uh, 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 or identifies themselves as a Jewish person or as a Christian Zionist, then we shall not be their friend. I will tell you that they are enemy number one, and our community needs to recognize that as such. You know, I opened, again, X this morning. I saw that clip. first thing I saw when I woke up this morning, because, again, Patricia Heaton posted it. And she's been great on her support of Israel, and I opened it and I clipped it. And, you know, for a moment, I th- it is that sense of, of fear that comes upon you. We can't live in a world of fear. We can't live in a world uh, where fear dictates us or mandates us. But I understand, because look, it was my initial reaction too, because it's how I felt just walking around in society right now, which is there is a sense of being Jewish, being a Christian, being something, you know, having to take my necklace and put it, you know, under my shirt. I'm, I I don't not think that because you see clips like this. And then when you do a dive and you realize this isn't someone who is just some random person on TikTok, this is someone who is a leader in this movement, it's scary, but we need to not live in fear. We need to stand up and support the good voices. We need to be there and to share our voice as well. That's why we have a petition right now at aclj.org slash sign, because we know that you need to stand up. We need to live not in fear. We need to live in power and truth and say, this is what's happening. Call it out and understand that's what's happening in America. Don't be blind to it and certainly don't be naive to it, but do not walk in fear from it. Because as you said, is that moments where you read that and you there are people who will certainly watch that clip and be motivated to violence. I can't imagine there won't be. 